I just showed a bunch of the stuff and then I realized that I wasn't taping. I had too much in here. So this is, um, let me start over, a, uh, oh, I did a challenge over at the Crafty Gal 32's channel. That's Vicky's channel. And it was a challenge that I did in December and these are the winnings. So I was very excited to start the new year off with winning crafty stuff. So much fun. When I first show you the stamps, she sent me this um, really cute camera stamp and this really t cute telephone stamp. Do you guys remember when phones actually look like that? A rotary dial? <laughs> and um, some bling. This is really pretty rhinestone bling. And some white trim. This is really pretty. I'm doing a, uh, a lace page and that will be helpful for that. And then she sent me this really pretty peach lace. It's so soft. And then this peach lace. This purple lace. This cream lace. This is really different too. Look at that. Beige. Cream. And then this is really pretty. This like coral color. Very beautiful. I like that color. So those are the laces. She also sent me this trim. Which is kind of um has like a multi-colored shimmer to it. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but that's really pretty. Like, again, I, I opened this up because I already looked at it. And um, this Sizzix die cut, which is really cool. They're like latches. And I think if I put them in my UT with embossing powder, I can make them look like metals. So that's very cool. Um, let's see. Then she sent me these tags and these chipboard accents. This stamp here that says love love you so much. This would be good for Valentine's Day. I'll put that in my Valentine's Day stash over there. Um, celebrate. Make a wish. So this is a birthday. So that's very, very cute. And these are some more like little Valentine's Day stamps. So I'm going to put that in my Valentine's Day stash. And then um, this chipboard book, which is cute. It's like a, a flower or a sun or however you want to look at it. Um... And in this tin is a bunch of laser cut wood pieces, which is totally cool. Look at all of these. So that's very, very exciting and fun. And if I use my Inca Gold with these, I can make them shiny and look like metal, or I can distress them. There's so many things you can do with these. She sent me that. And then she sent me this... Um, paper pad which is really cute um, you can see it's got the camera so it kind of matches I got the sun and this this one right here so I'm going to just flip through that really quickly that's a very fun pack okay and then I wanted to share with you some other things so I'm going to put this in here really quickly I have a bunch of stuff to show you some entries to my challenge so I picked this up today at Hobby Lobby and I was so excited about it um, I found this in the floral section and it's metal like trim and I'm sure I'm gonna have to use the E6000 to put that on but think about like for mixed media or on altered boxes, how pretty this is. Because you can also, you can gesso it. You can use your Inca Golds on it. You can make it any color you want. And there, all the trims on a roll are 50% off. So this is $7.99, so $8. So I got it for 4 bucks, And I love it. I was so excited, and I'm so excited to show you guys. Look at that. This one was uh, $6 to so $3, half off. And again, this is in the floral section. Oh my God, look at that. It's so cool. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I love it. And this one was $7. So there's nine feet. Nine feet of all of it. So, I mean, look how, I mean, you guys, this is so pretty. So pretty. So um, I'm going to, this is all for now. I've got to make, um, well, maybe I can squeeze one more in. If you bear with me, I'm sorry about that. Let me show you an entry that I got. To 
if I can find the card. That's why I always open things beforehand because it's too hard. <laughs> this is from Beverly. Um, New Crafter Bev is her channel. So Bev made these beautiful flowers for me, which I think are so sweet. Look at that. I'll have to figure out how she made that because that looks like it's up my alley. Like it's up my alley means that it's easy to make. <laughs> uh, oh, this is really pretty too. Oh, that's just a rosette. Very pretty. She made me this altered cork. You guys, isn't that pretty? And I did put her video of how she made this on um, my playlist because uh, it's just so much easier for people to look and that you know you can see how she described it. I know she said she was having some challenges with putting a dangle in or something, but I think she did an awesome job. It's so pretty. There's a, a carnation on the top there. Little little roses or little poppies, they look like poppies, and then some pearls and some bling, some more uh, flat back um, hearts, a little more lace, bling down there, flowers down here, and then a um, heart. Isn't that pretty? She, you did a great job, Bev. Thank you so much. And she also made me this little um, multimedia um, piece. It's an altered envelope. There. New Crafter Bev. That's her, her channel name, so go check her out. And I thought this was really cool because there's different textures you can't really see. And it's hard for me to talk about things because I'm looking through my camera and you guys know I can't see. Um, my eyesight is so bad. But this is textured. And then she added textured paper here, like that fibrous paper. And you can see she did some layers here. I, I am very curious to see how what she did to get that. But underneath the feathers, more paper. And I think she got this um, off the internet. And then she added some rosettes. And it's just really, really cute. And she did cover the paper. The, she covered the envelope with paper as well. So again, go to my playlist and you'll see her video for this and how she did it. Thank you so much, Bev. I really appreciate it. Um, I love that you're, you're making things, um, trying new things. I, I really think that this is a new technique for you right here. Um, I know you got that shabby chic down, and this is really beautiful. But I know definitely this is a little bit different for you. I really love it. Um, and thanks so much for all the work that you put into things. I really, really appreciate anything handmade. And I love, you know, that we all do our best to create things and try things that are a little bit different. I haven't, I have yet to alter a cork. That might have to be my next challenge for myself. I've been working on lots of flowers because I'm in a flower swap. Thank you so much, um, New Crafter Bev. Um, go, please go check out her channel. She's very talented, and she's an awesome person to boot. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys later. Bye.